I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on how to rack our server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. Uh, this is going to be uh, specifically focused on how to rack your server. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick video overall. Um, we are going to do this with sliding rails. Uh, these are the A7 set. Uh, there are inners and outers. Uh, so we're going to show you exactly how to put this in step by step. So let's get rolling. All right, so we are going to start with the right. So we're going to have right facing up and on the right side. I like to do this with two people. It just makes it a little bit easier. So Angel, let's do uh, number 15. So he's just going to grab it. And essentially, there's some pegs that will just lock into place. And so we're, I'm going to line these up exactly on 15. And there's a, a peg right here and here. So we'll get these perfectly in. And we are going to just simply push it in. And now it is locked into place. Now let's say you're trying to remove your kit. This blue tab over here, if you pull it out, it'll lift this off. And now the rail kit is off. Okay, so I'll do that again one more time. So it'll just click into place. And again, if you shake it, it's locked into place. The way it would slide out is the inners. And then if you want to remove it, is the blue clip okay so now we're going to go ahead and do the left side all right so now we're going to do the left side so the left will be on the left side and facing up so we're going to do 15 again so angel if you'll grab it and do 15 and these are the two pegs that i'm talking about right here so let's go ahead and snap those in and you'll hear it click into place and again if I shake it you can tell it's firmly in there and if you want to slide the inners out I would like to note one piece right here um, there is a blue clip right here that if you need to push this back in you'll see you physically can't so you have to push this down and now the inners will go and once this gets all the way in it'll continue to go all the way back so that's important as far as just sliding uh, the rails uh, or the inner rails in and out so now we're going to go ahead and actually put our server in all right so now i'm going to slide the inner rails out and we will go ahead and put our server in so go ahead and hand the r340 over so let's show on the side here if you look will you point out the rivets for me please angel these rivets are what you are going to line up with some holes on the uh, actual, uh, hold this up one section, there's some holes on the actual rails. So we like to start with the back one and we'll put uh, these two in first. All right, and then we will just slide these other two down. And then we need to just kind of push it back and you hear a little click and it's clicked into place and it's officially locked in. But if we needed to push our server back, you'll see it's locked into place. So those buttons that we mentioned on the side, the blue button, um, you push that and now you can slide this back. And then it's firmly locked into place here. So if you wanted to remove this from the rack, you would just take your two tabs here and you would pull them out. So if you push on the top right here, it'll come out and you just pull them out okay so now it'll slide back and then again it is firmly locked back into place so I appreciate you stopping by and learning how to rack your R340 if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, uh, IBM, Cisco we'd love the opportunity to help and if you need any AMD Epics or AMD uh, Ryzen's, Intel Scalable, we uh, custom build servers as well and love the opportunity to earn your home lab or your data center's business. Please email sales at cloudninja.com. And hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. Take care, guys.